Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Picatrix. I am going to get a Leo full moon of February 2023 rating going for my Cancers. If you want more information about that full moon, there is a video down in the description box to Molly McCord's Leo full moon video and you can check out that. So I am going to be using the Mystical Moments Tarot here and this is an 18 and up reading because I've got out the Sexual Magic Tarot here. And then I also am going to clear out and close out your reading with an Oracle of the Unicorns. I do have the window open here, Cancer, and so there's a Taurus reading that I also had the window open for that involved rain. Um, this morning I woke up and I said, oh my gosh, it's going to rain, and then it's like pouring down with a giant thunderstorm. Not thunder, there's just rain, a lot of rain. And so, um, King of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. I mean, this rain's really coming down. With Taurus, I cracked the window, and it was just like a nice rainstorm but for you there is like something very clearly washing out in your life this is connecting you to your soul in some capacity but the rain is nurse nurturing and nourishing you in ways that are very cleansing and you have to be passionate and sure in what you're asking spirit to clear out of your life okay we're cleansing you, okay, Cancer, but Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the King of Pentacles came out. <clears throat> so there's an Earth sign that, Earth sign energy here, a King of Pentacles. This deck has 83 cards in it, and each of the Kings and the Emperor have a masculine and a feminine card here. Um, I love this deck because of that. You've been doing something in a masculine energy for entirely too long. And Cancer is home. It is family. It is feminine energy. It is ruled by the moon, chariot. Um, And before I turned on your video, I, you know, I've, I've been recording these videos over the course of a few days. I always do. But yours is the last one. And before I turned it on, I went and did all these, like, chores. I, like, ran the dishwasher. And I did a load of laundry. And I opened the window. And I made sure the animals were fed and watered. And I, like, poured a new cup of coffee. I did all these, like, very domestic tasks. And so there's something here about the home that you need to be more domestic, less masculine, and more about the home and family over the next four to five weeks. Please keep in mind I'm not a licensed physician cancer, so if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor. And these are meant for entertainment purposes, so use your intuition and take what resonates, leaving the rest behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. So, you know, some of you might go, oh, I'm not going to say that, that's controversial. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a, there's like something that you're going to ride in and understand. You're going to rule with, you're going to work with. Um, you and some type of energy though, I got to tell you, just aren't on the same page in any capacity. Um, like one is definitely a teacher. Uh, there's some sort of energy that's very mature in your life. That's very accepting, they are accomplished, successful, might be a business owner, somebody that is outside the box, outside the norm. That energy, uh, and then there's this Knight of Swords who is a messenger, delivers things we need to know and hear. You might have a judgment come in over the next four to five weeks or an unexpected bill, Cancer. Somebody around you knows how to deal with this for you, but you do have to be willing to ask for help. Somebody's a novice in something and somebody is like a master in it. The moon. You don't see some energies coming. I'm, just, I'm going back to that bill. The ten of wands. You're ready to reap some sort of, sort of harvest, but you do have to uh, allow some sort of energy to emerge and come into the light for you, Cancer. There's something hidden here from you. Um, it's a weight that has been carried that has... Uh, I mean, both this ten of wands and this king of pentacles have are about our reaping rewards 
they are reaping their harvest. But the difference between the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles is the Ten of Wands is isolated. They're at the beginning of their journey. This is their first harvest. The King of Pentacles is at the end of some sort of journey. He is accomplished and successful and is a businessman. He is an entrepreneur that has people underneath him, employees that he is responsible for. The Ten of Wands does not have employees. It's just them. Okay, that's why they have to carry all this. There's no one to help them. They're at the beginning. It's the beginning of the vision. It's um, the part of your, your journey where you do it on your own. And the King of Pentacles is an energy where it's like he just has anybody at his beck and call to help him and grow things. But he got there because he did the steps, you know. He waited till he had the resources to hire employees. So you're definitely at the beginning of some sort of journey. You need a mentor of sorts. You have an unexpected mentor that's going to come into your life. Whew. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's just this outdated way of doing something. You've... you've, you've you've gone as far as you can where you're at the nine of wands is on the bottom of the deck that means you're getting ready to go into a period nine is the self it's hermit energy it's virgo so you need to go check out your virgo house your virgo placement maybe even your pisces because that's your opposite that's a detriment there's something here about um you doing a journey on your own here coming up Going out on your own, breaking free, uh, getting rid of outdated ways of doing things, um, recognizing that where you're at in your life, you've gone all as far as you can go uh, in the energy that you're in, and it's time for you to do something different, to go somewhere, to travel somewhere, to experience something new, to be a part of new people, places, things, new relationships, new commitments. Um, but, you know, that the fool's journey at times, he's alone. At times, he's surrounded by people. And I feel like here this next period, um, Cancer is about you being on your own, doing things alone, figuring out how to be this King of Pentacles, allowing people that are King of Pentacles in a type of success that you have yet to attain but desire to attain, allowing those people to be your mentors. You are represented here. So by your birthday season, Cancer, regardless of if you're a sun sign Cancer or another placement of Cancer watching this, you are going to want to check out all of your big four. Where did that card go? Dude, I don't even know. I'm, I'll find that crap later. Um, <laughs> Cancer, you need to treat this next four to five weeks like that. Like, oh, okay, well, that's it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Just, just, it's okay. You know? That's what a King of Pentacles does. That's what a Ten of Pentacles does. They understand that some things are meant to be and some are not. They don't get bent out of shape because of what's not meant to be. They get pumped up for what is meant to be so that they can attain the highest level of success that they want and leave a legacy for the next generation. But they didn't get there by just snapping their fingers the way that you see right now as you're watching this. These mentors to you, the only version of them that you know is this success, this attainment, this level of maturity and creation that you're desiring. Um, you didn't see all the steps that it took. You didn't see this ten of wands for these mentors. The moments when it was really difficult. That's not what they're sharing with you. They're sharing, you know, the positivity. How to look at something through a different lens. Oh my gosh. My chest just got really tight. The page of swords in reverse. So this King of Pentacles and this Page of Page of Swords, I told I told you at the beginning of this reading, there's an, there's some energies in your life that you're not on the same page with. Um, you don't understand that the there is a miscommunication or an Ill, inability to uh, respect one another in these relationships, a blockage of sorts. Um, I also get this vibration, Cancer, that there's some lusting after somebody going on here, and. Um, that's a blockage. Lust is not love. Lust is not... <laughs> Knight of Swords here, Spirit, please. Um, you need... There's just some sort of... 
communication that's not working in your favor. And I, you know, some, uh, I mean, literally in your release position, your, your, your full moon energy at the core of your reading is a 10 of pentacles. So something that you have completed that is very stable, it's very successful. It worked while it was working is now a outdated it's it's old it cannot go forward this man is eventually going to pass away and leave his legacy his home his business everything that he's built his empire to somebody else this is the emperor in his old age right before his death okay this is the king right before his death and so there's something here about a death happening in some capacity an ending some sort of change it might be directly related to a masculine uh earth placement man this rain is just coming down and, you know, you might kind of feel like when it rains, it pours. That that might be what drew you into this reading. Is that you feel a little bit, you feel burdened by the things that are coming in. The messages, the mentors, the situations that are coming to light for you feel heavy they feel burdensome they feel like you need a cleansing some of y'all need to go to the ocean i don't care how cold it is i don't care what how much money is in your bank you need to figure out how to go somewhere with a natural body of water preferably that has salt of some sorts even if it's brackish water and you need to like soak in that crap i don't care how cold that water is um find out how long a body can tolerate that water and you have somebody sit with you and time it if it's five minutes and so they'll scream at you get out of that water cancer it's time and um it might be spirit it might be yourself but there's something here about you needing to travel and go somewhere and cleanse yourself with natural water that is not man-made in any capacity and wash off the burdens reap some sort of reward and harvest that you've worked tirelessly for you are receiving what you asked for, but it's not coming in the form that you feel. That in, um, you know, a six of swords and a knight of swords. That's travel. That's going somewhere. That's getting in a boat and leaving a very un uncomfortable situation that has conflict and allowing yourself to go where you're meant to go. The eight of cups is clarifying the moon. That's double intuition. Double travel, double intuition. Something is coming into the light here because the tower in reverse with the Ten of Wands. <sighs> Cancer, you're avoiding a tower moment by allowing yourself to process and see these mentors for the reality that they worked for what they've got. And now you, if you want the same level of life that these mentors have, you have to make the choice with the two of pentacles and a second ten of wands clarifying this ten of pentacles you have to make the choice to take the steps and put in the work make that effort no matter how heavy it feels your soul is craving for you to close out some sort of cycle that it has reached its peak it has reached its ability to grow it no longer has time in your life to work with a two and a ten of pentacles equals um, a twelve of pentacles so that's a new perspective about resources and finances and stability and foundation um, there's a lot of signs that have um, had multiple of the same card and yours is a ten of wands so you are coming into harvest you have to change your perspective about what that harvest is um, and you might not even see that what you're going through right now is a harvest. You, a cat just walked in um, to the atmosphere, so a cat may be trying to get your attention, or you might get a new cat. There might be some level of you that's a little bit of a witch or a wizard, or um, you know, you might be changing your belief systems. You're stepping outside some sort of comfort zone, and I do see where you're doing it because you're tired of lusting after a life that this Ten of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles has. And instead, you're sitting with yourself, with your guides. You're facing the reality of what's rejecting you so that you can attract in what will desire you in return. And I think that um, 
you are going to go on a vacation here soon, Cancer. And when you go on that vacation, because you need this spiritual cleanse, some of you could go to a meditation retreat. Some of you are going to just go to the beach where you can get in the ocean and do a spiritual bath. Some of you might go to like a hot springs. Um, some of you are just the only natural body of water that you can do is put on clothes that you don't mind getting soaking wet and stand out in the rain and let the rain wash you until you're so cold and you're so burdened by what it feels like to stand in the cold and in the rain that you have to come inside and take a hot shower and and nourish and replenish the warmth that the the rain washed away energy there's just this change in you where you are avoiding the same repetition of a cycle that you know isn't going to work anymore for you because somebody's teaching you that i don't know that i think it's inadvertent i think it's just kind of happening and you need to roll with life and as you roll with life these mentors are going to help you and there's going to be many of them they're going to help you and make you realize that the harvests that you're receiving right now are exactly what you asked for it is your perspective that is shifting in the next four to five weeks so that you can see that you are reaping rewards, that you are just in a different place on your journey than other people around you. You have more teachers than you are teaching right now, Cancer. Um, and part of that is like family life, where kids who live with their parents, you know, ultimately it's their parents' responsibility to sit down and teach that child how to go out into society and be in charge of their own home and their own bill and their own resources and their own responsibilities. And so there's a harvest here. You have three tents. Ten, ten, ten. Massive cycle is ending for you. Probably felt pretty burdensome. All right, we're going to close out this reading. Trust, leap into the unknown, and have faith and move forward. And you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in the harvest and the rewards. Part of being a fool, part of working with spirit and trusting in the divine whether that is god or allah or buddha or whatever or abraham or it's you know greek gods it doesn't matter what you prescribe to so long as you believe that every action and reaction in your life response is coming from a place of love and being open to receiving from people that it's not a place of love you need to change your perspective in some capacity. And that capacity is about to reveal itself to you over the next four to five weeks. And um, your ability to stay mature and respectful because you are mirroring some type of energy that's giving you lessons is exactly the harvest that you need for you to change your life. To recognize that there is a foundation in your life that has been built on clay and you need rock. You need more stability, and it is you that will rebuild a tower. It is you that will put in the energy that you need to have whatever this King of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles is that you're dreaming of and wishing for. But right now, your mentors that have these things that you desire, they are the best teachers. Do not shoot the messenger. Do not bring pain and suffering into the people's lives that are trying to help you. Okay? So... With that said, I am going to close out the reading here. I hope that that helped, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Please check out all of your big four to get a total picture of what's going on for you. And I wish you all the best. I'll get it to you next time.